Asmongold. What if I want to raid as a rent paladin? What if I want to raid as a rent paladin? Here's how, how, here's how you can raid as a rent paladin. You can be one of my friends, and that way I'll give you a spot no matter what. Or you can have a great attitude, you can be a great player, and you can show up to raid and do your job. The hardest part about a 40-man raid is 40 people. So if you want to actually be part of this, show up, do what you need to do, have your flasks, have your food buffs, have your potions, have everything that you need, and that's all it's going to take. What's a paladin's job? To buff the raid. That's it. Paladin's job is to buff the raid and apply the night, nightfall debuff onto the, uh, onto the different players, uh, different bosses. That is your only job as a paladin. Uh, if you can do those two things, you'll have no trouble whatsoever. Now, on top of that, a number of other people, uh, we're going to get to the elephant in the room, which is loot. Okay, we will get to that very soon. Another few basic questions. If you want to be part of the guild, and maybe you can't meet these raid times, that's fine. The fact is that my guild is accepting everyone. If you don't suck dick at the game, I will invite you. But if you do suck dick at the game, you'll be removed from any and all guilds, and nobody will want to play with you because you're shitty. We will be creating multiple raid teams. We will be creating multiple guilds. We will be getting everybody together from all walks of life and all times of the day to raid together and create our community to build something bigger than what we have right now. The blacklist? No, it's the dick sucker list, and it's even worse. Listen, a lot of people want to be part of this. This is going to be on Feralina server, Alliance US. Some people are concerned that we're going to take over the server. Truthfully, we probably will. And they can thank us for that whenever they want. But the truth is, at the end of the day, we are going to put in 110% to be good players and to be, I guess, kind of... Uh, so, yeah, all right, ninja looting. Let's talk about this. If you're in my guild and you're ninja looting, let's talk about ninja looting in my guild. There will be other guilds that you are not allowed to ninja loot from. But... If you are not ninja looting from anyone inside one of those guilds, or you are not ninja looting from your other guildmates, ninja looting will be allowed. As long as you're doing it to help your character and you're not just doing it maliciously to be a cocksucker. We don't want to deal with any cocksuckers. So if you're gonna if you're gonna do that, that's fine. But if I'm if you're gonna ninja loot gear and make us look bad, we better be getting the results from that because you're gonna be doing better DPS at a rate. So if you want to ninja loot an item, you better ninja loot that item so you can come into our raids and raid with us. But you do not ninja loot from anyone that we know or anyone that is on the list. If I find out that you steal from anybody who is part of our community, you will be excommunicated. Unless you have to maybe atone for your sins or do some sin of penance, which we will decide by tribunal. More information on that to come. Beyond that, we want to talk about uh, expectations for performance. You will be expected to not be AFK 90% of the raid. And if you're one of the tanks, you have to be there at least like 95% of the time. Now, 10% of the time, if you're AFK, that's fine. It, it's it's like molten core, right? It's like, fuck, who cares, man? Uh, but for those, those fucking 90% of the time, and for all boss fights, every single player will, expected, will be expected to not be AFK. Nobody will be AFK. Beyond that, being geared. If you are a good player, and you have limited time to get geared, and you have a good attitude, I will prioritize you over tryhards that are annoying and obnoxious. Creating a good guild is more important than creating a high progression guild. The truth is that Classic WoW is about the community and it's about the people that are part of it. And 
if I have somebody in the raid that makes five other people not want to show up to the raid, I will remove that person. If you have a bad attitude, if you're obnoxious, if you're annoying, if you're an attention seeker, if you're just fucking stupid, you will probably find yourself sooner than later outside of the raid teams because nobody will want to play with you and I don't want to inflict your stupidity upon my guildmates. Now next. Our progression expectations. Going into the raid, I'll expect you to do everything reasonably possible for your character to come into the raid as good as it possibly can be. There are some things that obviously uh, are unrealistic to expect out of players, but for the most part, I expect you to have food buffs. Uh, I expect you to have your elixirs, maybe a flask or something like that. That's really to be determined. Flasks will probably be handled by the guild bank and the uh, specific elixir that's going to be assigned to that. All greens, bro? Well, maybe a few blues too. Other than that, you're going to come in. You're going to be ready to go. I'm not going to have like ridiculous expectations, but our plan is to kill Ragnaros on week two. I was thinking about trying it for week one, but truthfully, I probably won't even make that, and neither will you. We are going to attempt Ragnaros on week two. If we don't get it, that's fine. We'll get it on week three. We are going to be farming these raids for months. And I want to reiterate the point that I was talking about before. If you are obnoxious or annoying, you will be removed from the guild. I don't like people like that, and I don't like dealing with them. If people in my raid continuously complain about you and say they don't like you for whatever reason, I will try to sort it out, but the resolution will always come at my discretion, which is usually to choose the, the, the needs of the many over the needs of the one. You can ninja loot, though? Yeah, from people that aren't in the guild, though. That's the difference. But you kick hunters who forget to buy arrows and bullets but they're not AFK. It depends on how often it happens. I'll probably ridicule them in, in, in voice chat and make fun of them for months to come and then make memes about them and treat them like shit and then probably still give them the loot anyway because hunters can be AFK and do 80% of their effective DPS so there's no way they can do it wrong. We'll see what happens. The, the officers of the guild are be... They will be... They're to be determined. Some of the people already, obviously I think you already know their names. McConnell, McElreevy, many others to come. I don't. I haven't locked down anyone else. I will be giving officer positions to people who are dedicated and motivated to run the guild and do it in the best way possible, and people who I feel can uphold the standards of the guild in the right way. I understand this is something that some people might disagree with. You're wrong. I'm right. There it is. On top of that. Esfond, Esfond is making his own guild. On top of that, I think that it's time that we address the elephant in the room. Let's talk about loot. Loot will be distributed uh, through a loot council. Now, if other if other groups want to do it with roles and everything like that, as long as that's acceptable, uh, that's completely up to them. Loot can be distributed by the other uh, other groups, however they want to do it. But my main group. We will be doing it through a loot council. We will also probably be... I don't know about broadcasting the decisions because there are some things that we don't want to take into consideration. But I want to go ahead and I want to talk to you guys right now. This is the main concern, so I want to go ahead and make sure this is completely all out in the open. I'm going to go ahead and, uh, and make some space right here. These are the priorities and the decisions that I make regarding loot. Number one. The most important thing, performance. Performance is one of the main things that I look at whenever I determine if I want to give somebody loot or not. Performance. Next one, attendance. Why is attendance so high? Because you'd be fucking, you'd be stupid as hell to think that I'm going to give a goddamn item. There's three items that drop out of the first fucking boss in Molten Core, and I'm going to give one of them to some dick boy that shows up once every other week. Nope. You got to be there all the time. If you want to have the loot, you got to get it. You got to show up, and that's all there is to it. 
The second thing, attitude. If you're obnoxious, as I said before, you will not find a very welcoming environment in my guild. Second thing, uh, it's it's second. Uh, it, it depends, right? It depends on how you define performance, attendance, and attitude, etc. Right? If you're coming into the raid constantly unprepared, if you're making the in, in, in voice chat constantly being annoying, if you're saying things that are edgy, maybe you know what? Maybe you won't get the item that you wanted. And that's okay. Somebody else will get it that will not be annoying. The next thing. Seniority. You're goddamn right I'm going to prioritize somebody that I've played with over two years over some other random person that I just played with recently. Of course I'm going to give the people that have put in the most work in the longest amount of time into the guild the items first. It just makes sense. What about grammar? Nepotism? It's not nepotism at all. Every single company, what well, do you think? They're just going to randomly hire some guy to be a manager and tell other people what to do? Just right out, right out of fucking some other company? No, they want to hire and promote up within the company. They want to reward the people that have been in there for the longest amount of time. And uh, yes, that is how they do it. And you know what happens whenever they do it like that? They do it wrong. And people get pissed off. It is nepotism. It's success. I don't care what words people put on it. I care. I, I look at my goal and I see what do I want to get. And I do whatever I can to get to that goal. It doesn't matter what it is. It doesn't matter what it takes. That's all there is to it. Don't mess with success. Of course we're going to prioritize people that have been in the guild that show up regularly and that are part of the community in an integral state more than just random people that show up regularly or show up every once in a while occasionally, even though if that occasional person does more damage. It's part of a guild. The loot is only one component of the guild. It's the tangible reward that you have coming out of the raid. And if that reward is being distributed to people that don't that don't deserve it, the entire guild will fall apart. Indestructible people members get uh, looted over people who first raid? No, not really. But uh, there's going to be a lot of people who uh, are going to be part of the guild. And there are going to be people that have helped me organize the guild and create the guild. And like my core leadership, obviously I will maybe prioritize them over items at the very beginning. But after that, everything is going to be up for grabs. And uh, it's like if there's some random person I've never seen before, and I'm comparing that random person I've never seen before, who's like level 60, I've never really talked to them, with someone else that I've played with regularly, maybe on like the beta or something like that, obviously I'm going to give that person priority. Uh, but that doesn't mean that's going to last for long. That's maybe for the first week or two. And then after that, the people that show up again, the people that perform again, the people that are enchanted, the people who are repaired, the people who are ready, those are the ones that will get the spots. There are a lot of guilds that say once you pass your trial, you don't need to worry. In my guild, you trial every night. If you come in and you suck dick, I don't care if I'd played with you forever. If you don't show up or whatever, you trial every night. You can get replaced. Any member in the raid can be removed and replaced with a random from trade. And the raid will move at the exact same pace, and no one will notice the difference. Keep that in mind whenever you want to waste our time, or fuck around, or anything like that. Anybody can. On top of that, can we please, uh, there's a spammer in chat. You're basically like the Russian government. How many people you ever hear about complaining about the Kremlin? None. I wonder why that is. I guess it's probably because it's a great place to work. That must be it. On top of that, there will be no DKP in the guild. There will be a log of all of the items received. And if we feel like it's appropriate... I will stream our loot decisions and how we decide who gets items. I don't know about that. It's a very big risk because I don't want to see people getting butthurt or whatever. But I want people to know that the decision is going to be transparent. And we are willing to defend and uh, uphold any decision that we make on loot. And rationalize it with anybody who wants to discuss it who's in the guild. 
a, a random Twitch member or something like that, a Twitch chatter, I don't care if you agree with our decision or not. It doesn't matter. No one cares. But whenever it comes to the actual guildmates and them thinking that we're in a fair environment, I want to make sure that everybody knows that we are and that things are going to be going the right way. People will get butt hurt no matter what you do. That's right. How important is the element of RP in WoW Classic 2? Let's go ahead. We'll see if there's any questions. Um, let's see. How can I get any questions here? Uh, we can do it from mod chat. How the fuck would this work? Um, I, I'm not entirely sure. Let's see. If you guys want to ask some questions right now, I'll, I'll answer them. Three night, three days a night? At the beginning, yes. Will you bench yourself? It wouldn't really make sense for me to bench myself because I'm, I'm going to be the raid leader as well. The guild name? I have no guild name planned. It doesn't matter what the guild name is called. It only matters that there's a guild. How do we get invites? You just did. You're invited. The first 40 people to hit level 60, I will take on that first day that I get 60. And we'll go into Molten Core and we'll build our group out of that. The first people that want to put in the most effort, they will be the first ones chosen to prove themselves to be part of the raiding team. It doesn't mean they're going to be the ones that hold their spot, but they're going to be the first ones that have an opportunity to earn it. No new players to WoW welcome then? Uh, if you want to be a new player, that's fine. But the truth is that you know a lot of people in my guild are probably going to know a lot about the game. They're going to have high expectations. And new players will be welcome. And there will, of course, be raids for new players and communities for that. But my main raiding team, I want to have with people that actually know what they're doing and that are motivated and that have played the game for a while. What about raids that reset more than once a week? Good question. We will sort that out whenever we know what the reset schedule is. There will be multiple raids, so I don't worry about any sort of people getting left out and not getting into their groups. Now, once Molten Core is cleared and we're able to do it more easily, same with Anixia, there is an opportunity and a possibility that we will split raid in order for us to focus and get more gear for the main raiders that we want to have it for so they can finish their sets. Maybe do Molten Core with 30 people instead of 40. All of that's to be determined, and it depends on how well the scaling is and, and how good the guild is. Who gets Thunder Fury? Good question. Me. I'm going to be the main tank for the guild. I'm going to be the guild leader for the guild. I'm getting Thunder Fury. Next question. Do you accept social casual slaves? We don't accept them. We embrace them. If you want to be a slave to the guild, I'd love to have you. I, I, I love having slaves for the guild. Now for Sulfurus, that will probably go to McConnell. That's the plan. Wait, what? I don't want it. It's garbage. You don't want, you don't want Sulfurus? It's like fucking terrible for it. Really? Yeah. So we're not sure what's going to happen with Sulfurus yet. Nobody knows. As time goes on, I believe one person will stand out and make themselves known as the person that truly deserves it. Hunter weapon? It's not going to go to hunters. Hunters can't use maces. What are you going to do with druid tanks? Simple. I'll keep them in dungeons like they deserve. The next issue. Leveling. You can level however you want. I don't care what you do. Also, oh right, unpleasant people. So, trade chat trolls, obnoxious idiots, dumbasses, everything like that. We're probably going to get rid of you. For obvious reasons. I don't want to have anybody making us look like jackasses. So, if you want to be an obnoxious piece of shit, that's fine. Go, go do it in somebody else's guild. It's a, it's a guild, not a circus. There's no clowns allowed. Do you accept the EU people? As long as your latency isn't terrible, yes. Do the guild applications still matter? Yes, we'll go over those as many as we can. What about PvP groups? So for PvP, whenever Phase 2 begins, we will start building up an entire community of people. And Murray, thank you very much for the two years. We'll start building up an entire group of people. Now, I want you to look at this in the StarCraft uh, 
mentality. We're not the Protoss. We're not the Terran. We're the Zerg. The one thing that we have is pure numbers. We can overwhelm any group of people. And we will do that. We will bring as many people as we possibly can into an environment. And it doesn't matter if we have to bring 400 people. We'll do it. We want to flex and let everybody know that we run this shit. We run the game. And we run the server. And that's all there is to it. If we want to lock down farming spots, we'll have one member of the guild at every single spawn location for every single elemental that spawns for the Hydraxian Water Wards. And nobody will be able to get a single kill besides us. Jeez. This is going to be a guild for winners. Not losers. If you have a good attitude, if you want to succeed, if the only thing you want to do for the next two months is play this game, then my guild is for you. If you're casual and you just want to support things on the back lines and maybe help us make flasks or just be part of the raid and maybe we'll give you a few runs through Molten Core when you get 60 or something like that, this guild is for you. If you're a PvPer, and you like doing world PvP and battlegrounds, this guild is for you. If you're a dungeon player and you just want to farm items for whatever reason, you don't have time to raid, this guild is also for you. Dungeon Master. Dungeon Master. This guild is for anyone. Mr. Den Talon, thank you very much for the five of the community subs. Now, obviously, for the first week, it's going to be really, really hectic. People are going to be playing all the time. After that, of course, things will slightly calm down, and they will go back to normalcy. During that first week, that's where your time matters the most. That's where you level up. That's where you get to max level as fast as you possibly can. Let's take some more questions. Will you be accepting management players? I can probably handle that myself. But if you think that's something that you want to bring in, uh, go ahead and let me know. Uh, what about stream sniping other streamers? Depends on how often you do it. If you every day some other streamer logs on and you just go try and hunt them and annoy them the whole time, yeah, I don't want you in the guild because you're an annoying person. Just because you're not annoying us doesn't mean that you're not annoying. People that fundamentally do that are annoying. As I've said before, I don't like annoying people. I just don't. I hate them. So if I find that someone is annoying, hunting horde streamers is not okay. Depends on hunting. Like, how do you find hunting, right? Like, if you're killing a streamer for, like, an hour, like, who cares? But if you continuously do this for hours every single day, yeah, I don't want you to be part of the community. It's ridiculous. Like, nobody likes that. It's just annoying. Who are Nax40, Celtus Outburst, the US? or US? I have no idea. Would you excuse a really good player you trolled, annoyed, and ninja people outside the guild but was chill with the guild? It depends on how troll and how annoying he is. That's basically how I used to be. And I think that we'll make every single decision on an individual basis because that's the only way you can really do these things. Obviously, I have guidelines that I want to follow and things that I generally want to keep to, but that doesn't mean that I'm not willing to go outside of those guidelines whenever the situation calls for it. Will you accept furries? No, Clinton body count. I will not. Camping farm spawns is annoying. Yes, but it benefits the guild. Camping random players does not benefit the guild. It generates animosity, and it makes those people in the other guild... I don't want to listen to this stupid fucking song. What is a better song for this? A dumb fucking song. Okay. I don't want to listen to this one. Just a second. Okay, this is fine. I didn't intend to tank. Am I better off? Wait, what is this here? Am I better off looking for uh, another guild elsewhere? It depends. For my main team, I plan on having at least four tanks. Myself is the main tank, a dedicated off tank, and our backups. Too loud? Sorry, I do apologize. It is kind of loud. I think it's better now. It should be okay. Irrelevant question? Let's go to the next question. Uh, just a second. Let me scroll all the way up here. And uh, we'll see what we have. Will you have a horde guild? No, I will not. This is alliance only. This is an alliance guild. Uh, any plans for a diversity officer? Um, you mean for, like, getting, like, moonkins into the raid? 
Uh, I feel like we can probably handle that ourselves. Or, I guess you could say, not handle it. I'll be honest, if Hotted wants to raid with us, we'll bring him. But we'll see what happens beyond that. Any plans for guild events? The guild is an event. There are not going to be. There will be guild events all the time. This is a community made up of thousands of people. The guild is an event in itself. Who gets Thunder Fury? Me. I don't know what we're going to call the guild. Do you get, need a guild attorney? No, I'll be the guild attorney. Obviously, look at this. Uh, first time playing WoW. Any class suggestions? Yeah, play a mage. Can I apply for an HR position? No. If you're a soft, pussy-ass bitch that has problems with people all the time, we're just gonna get rid of you. People that have problems are problems. If every single week you come to me with a new problem from another raider, I'm gonna kick you out of the guild. Maybe you can find some other place you can fit in better at. No pussy-ass bitches in my guild. No crybabies. That's it. People that have problems are problems. If every single day you run into people that are assholes, Maybe you're the asshole. Not gonna let that happen. What am I allowed to eat? It doesn't matter. Dedicated druid tank? Can I prove myself in raiding? You're a dedicated druid tank? Sure, you can prove yourself as ra in raiding as long as you respect the resto. Druid tanks I don't think will be able to hold their own. I don't know if really we're gonna give druids gear or not. Every piece of gear that we give a druid, it's a piece of gear we don't give a rogue. If you have a great attitude, you show up regularly, and you do your job, I will probably still bring you, because I'm, I, I consider that worth even more than being a warrior. It will be on a per, a case-by-case -case basis. I'm from Canada, what should I bring? Certainly not a moose. I'm a role player, can I join? Our guild, we're not really, all right, this is not a role-playing guild. That being said, I think everybody is okay with a little bit of roleplay as long as it's nothing particularly weird. So I wouldn't worry about that too much, guys. Yeah, like some light BDSM type stuff. Yeah, nothing crazy, just a little bit of it, okay? You know, I roll a human warrior, yes. Um, who are your officers? Uh, there's only three of them that have been decided so far. It's obviously myself, Esfond, and McRivy. Uh, all the rest of the people will be, uh, they'll be decided as time goes on. Good. All right, next question. I'm out to drink water while I'm in your guild. Yes, Esfond is making his own guild. Esfond is making his own guild. That's why. Uh, any physical requirements? Yes, you have to be over 300 pounds. Uh, that way I know I'm getting people that are serious. Next. We can furries join. I already answered that. No. Vods me main tanking with the druid. Listen, I'm not really sure if that's going to happen or not, all right? I just want you guys to understand that, of course, yes, maybe druids will be able to tank. Depends on who you are and the problems that you create or don't create, or the problems that you solve. What realm are you going to be on? We are going to be on Feralina. Is there any way we can find out early members? Uh, so we can, what is this here? Uh, can start and before release and level together? Members of the guild already. In the next couple of days, I will be creating a component of my Discord channel dedicated to the guild. I might make a new Discord. It depends. I haven't decided yet. But I will be making a community, and that will allow people to get together and plan on how they want to level things together and get together with. Discord.gg slash Asmongold if you want to be a part of that. Who gets Corrupted Ashbringer, Warrior, or Paladin? Probably a Paladin. Warriors have no use for Corrupted Ashbringer. It's a terrible weapon. I'm um, in Discord. Got banned from yours for posting. If you got if you got banned for posting something stupid, talk to a mod. I can't decide that right now. Can you ban gnomes unless they're caster classes? Probably yes. Uh, are paladins good in classic? Yes, if they heal. Shaman tanks? No, they're not. Uh, can two characters be in your guild? We'll see what happens. The odds are the guild is going to be extremely popular, and we're probably just going to take one player and one alt. That's it. I don't want to take a bunch of different alts all in one character. The only people that will be allowed multiple alts is probably going to be the guild master, myself, and the officers, as well as some of the veteran members of the guild. And that's way, that way, as many people as possible that are active regularly can be part of the guild and be online at the same time. 
Shadow Priests are completely fine. I have no problem with Shadow Priests at all. I have no problem with most of these different specs. Uh, as long as you can pull your own weight, that's the only thing that I care about. Uh, will your guild be TOS? Yes, if you say Game Awards in the guild chat or in uh, Discord, you will be immediately removed from the guild. Uh, I don't really care about this personally, but I don't want this to somehow uh, leak over and affect my stream or someone else's stream, because I know a lot of people are streaming, and so you will be removed immediately uh, with, with no questions asked. Uh, that, that's it. So anybody who uses any Game Awards will be kicked out of the guild entirely and excommunicated in, in all ways. I understand this is something that a lot of people might, uh, you know, might d disappoint them because they want to be able to say those types of things. Uh, I, I, I say that kind of stuff all the time, or I used to all the time. Uh, I would now if I wasn't a streamer, but I am, and so you guys have to follow the rules that I have to deal with, right? Because I'm a guild master. I don't care about this personally. I'm just doing this in my own self-interest. Can he convince McCall to stream for Classic? We'll see what happens. Uh, what's a gamer word? You know. Is retard a gamer word? Retard is acceptable. I think it's against the TOS of WoW, actually. So uh, I, I don't know if you really want to say that word, but uh, retard is okay. Uh, basically, any word that would get me banned on Twitch is not allowed to be used. That's all it really comes down to. Uh, is LOL a gamer word? No, it's not. Uh, requirements for Hunter in a guild. Requirements for the Hunter? Have a pet? Have ammo. That's probably going to rule out like 80% of hunters. So as long as you have those two things, you're going to be just fine. Age requirement. I originally planned on making the guild requirement age 13, or sorry, 18 and above. I even, I even thought of the idea of making it 21 and above. But then I remembered myself as 16, who was actually 20, because I lied on my application. The truth is that if there's some 13-year-old that really has something to prove, he wants to show everybody up and let them know, I'll give him a shot. But if you're an annoying fucking 13-year-old with a bad attitude, I'll kick you out of the raid and I'll make fun of you. Send you back to fucking Fortnite or Minecraft. Where's the rest of them? How about enchants? Enchants are going to be up to you. You can handle enchants however you want to handle them. Are mages allowed? Yes. Uh, do you recommend Classic? Yes, I do. How many people can be in a guild? 1,000. Uh, what server? It's going to be Feralina server. If I RP as myself, who absorbed in my fantasy game, I don't care about that. Recipe drops? Recipe drop. That's a very, very good question. Thank you for asking that. Recipe drops, it's very simple. I will have dedicated people who are going to be receiving all of the recipe drops. There will be a guild blacksmith, a guild tailor, a guild leather worker, and a guild uh, uh, engineer. Those people will be receiving the first patterns that drop, as well as other people. They will also be getting funneled all of the items so that they're able to craft the items themselves. I will be the guild blacksmith myself. I'll be leveling up blacksmithing with all of the ore, and then doing everything that I can to be able to craft the fire resistance gear for not only myself, but for the rest of the raid. We'll have a tailor and a, uh, a leather worker who will be willing to do the same thing. Are you accepting Asian gamers? As long as your latency is okay, yes. Rogue is also a good class in classic. Yes, it is. Enchanting and tailor here. Any other mandatory guild meetings? Nothing is mandatory. If you don't show up to raids, it's not mandatory either. We'll just replace you with somebody else. You don't have to do anything. But the people that show up for the most events and are part of the guild the most way, then we'll just get somebody else that shows up more often. Uh, warlocks are good? Yes, warlocks are just fine. I, I, I love warlocks. Summoning is amazing. Will you accept balanced druids? Probably not, but we'll have to see what you have to say. It depends. What are the best professions for rogue? It doesn't matter. Uh, engineering and probably leatherworking, if I had to say. If someone gets the Lionheart Helm or Titanic Leg Eggs recipes, do you, uh, what is this here? Uh, does he have to hand them over? That's a good question. So whenever you get recipes or items like that that are outside of the guild. So if you are not in a guild event, uh, a guild-sponsored event, right? Like let's say you're just doing a random Strathlon run, for example. And, uh, you know, the pattern for Lionheart Helm drops for some reason or something like that, hypothetically. Um, what will what will happen? It's completely up to you. You can roll it off. 
Uh, hopefully, we can try to get you to uh, you know sell it to the guild at maybe a reduced price and then be compensated for that. But the only items that will be uh, redistributed in this way will be items that were obtained in guild-sanctioned events, mainly raids. So if you're doing a dungeon or something like that's BOP, okay, well then there you go. The, this, the, any sort of a pattern, right? That's the point that I'm making. Any pattern that could benefit the guild and you choose to sell it for yourself, that's your own prerogative. Uh, at the end of the day, uh, you looted that item and the guild does not own every single thing that you do. We do not own copyright over your behavior and everything that you do outside of the guild is completely on your own discretion. If you want to help and reward the guild, the guild will see a way to try to compensate you for that. But there's actually a uh, free-for-all. Well, it only makes sense. This is the only way that makes sense. Uh, so if you get a pattern like that and you want to sell it to the guild, we will figure out a way. Maybe every single person in the guild can contribute five gold or something like that and uh, maybe buy it off of you. But if that's not possible, then you can sell it on the auction house and there's going to be no hard feelings. That's all there is to it. Are role players allowed? You've asked, uh, five people have asked that. It's too many times. Uh, attunements and guild members. Attunements will be handled like this. Whenever the raid comes out, and if you're not attuned, get attuned. If you can't get attuned, then you're probably antisocial and you probably won't fit in with the guild anyway, so don't worry about it. People will obviously need help getting attuned. Let's say it's week four. Some of the more casual players just hit level 60. They need help doing BRD to get into Molten Core. We will help you. We will help you get into BRD. We'll take you right through Incendius. We'll show you the Lava Jump Run, and we'll get you in there yourselves. That's what a guild is for. If you need help doing a quest, the guild will help you. If you need help turning something in, the guild will help you. If you need help leveling up a profession, people will help you. We did this all the time in the beta. I helped over a dozen people get their whirlwind axe. Probably more like five people get their whirlwind axe. It was not myself. But I got the guild together and they got together and they did that on their own. That doesn't mean that every single person that ever asked for a uh, help for attunement will automatically get a full guild group to doing it. But we are going to foster and promote and try to incentivize that type of behavior because it helps people inside of the guild. Is there room for casual players? Yes. Can I join if I've lost my virginity? No. We accept gold donations in Classic WoW. No, not until I get my Epic Mount. Whenever I get my Epic Mount, I'll be I'll be rolling in the fucking money, dude. And I'm going to be putting all of that money into a guild bank. I will be creating a second character. That will be the guild bank character. And that will be the item, the character that all items will be mailed to, to be redistributed to guild members as seen fit. We will not be paying for anyone's repair costs except for maybe the tanks, and that probably is still going to be unlikely. Consumables might be given to healers because obviously they have a harder time farming for items. But other than that, we're not going to worry about that too much. Are shamans allowed? There will be no shamans allowed in my uh, in my alliance guild, no. So sad, I'm from EU. I would love to play WoW with you for the first time in the guild that people want to know what to do. Exactly. Did you see Gungeon Captain and WoWhead and Classic? Yeah, I know. I'm really disappointed they didn't have that whenever uh, we were playing Beto. We were the 10-man sunken temple. It would have been super fun. Uh, will you allow people in the guild that can't meet most raid times? It depends. If you want to be, uh, if you want to be part of this and you can't meet the raid times, then what can you meet? Why should you be in the guild over somebody else? Find me a good reason for that, and you'll be in the guild. Toxic raid comms on stream? No. During raids? Shut the fuck up. Nobody gives a fuck what happened to your cat. Nobody gives a fuck what the McDonald's cashier said to you. Nobody gives a fuck what happened at school. Nobody gives a fuck about your mom, about your wife, about your friends, or anything. We don't want to hear about it. Whenever we're in the raid, especially whenever it's progression, everybody shuts the fuck up and we do the fights. We focus on the on the task at hand. There will be no toxicity or negativity. The only people who will be administering any sort of uh, disciplinary action will be the other officers. We're not going to have any vigilantes. If, you, if you're a rogue and you have a problem with another rogue because you see the other rogue sucks, you don't tell the other rogue that he sucks. You tell me that he sucks and I tell him that he sucks. That's the way it happens. 
I'll deal with it. No fun? You're goddamn right. Because you know what's fun for me? Killing bosses. We can talk and socialize all we want after we've cleared the raids a few times. But whenever we get into it for the first few times, we focus up, everybody pays attention, and we get our job done. Are known, known Frost Mages allowed in the guild? Yes, they are. Of course they are. They have 5% more intellect. We accept only Dwarf Priests. No, I will not. Uh, I, I will accept uh, Human Priests as well. But Dwarf Priests obviously have more use to the raid, so they will be considered more strongly because they're more useful. Next question. Uh, how many big titty goth girls in the in the uh, the guild? There will be at least one. There there will be at least one. Uh, what about hunters? What about them? Uh, hunters. I mean, as I said, if you're ready and you're good to go and you know what you're doing as a hunter, you will be invited. I don't care who you are. I don't care what you are. If you want to come into the raid and perform and do a good job, that's the only thing that I care about. It will be important, obviously, especially at the beginning of the raid, for us to have a balanced comp, and that way the gear will be spread out among as few people as possible. And so we're not going to have, like, 20 plate wearers in a raid, because then if one plate item drops, 19 other people don't get an upgrade. So we want to make sure that every item that drops is going to be usable by somebody in the raid. That's just common sense. Are you going to host IRL guild meetings? No, I'm not. Trank shot for second boss of MC? Magmadar. Of course, you're right. He gets enraged. You have to trank shot him. Uh, can I sleep with guildies? Um, so, if I find that you have like weird tendencies like that, and you act weird to other guild members, I'm just going to kick you out of the guild, because it's weird. Nobody's going to come into the guild and feel uncomfortable. So if you send weird messages to other people in the guild, you're just going to get kicked out. It's wow, not not tender. If they're both okay with it, do whatever you want. But if it becomes an issue, uh, I, I probably will get rid of them. Yes, it depends. Will there be cool G uh, guild messages? Yeah, the guild message every day will be Twitch Prime. Where do we sign up? On Feralina server. How am I going to handle obviously having more than a thousand people who want to be part of this? It's very simple. Whenever I create my first guild, I will have other people who I trust assigned to creating other guilds to build up the uh, influence of our guild on the server. I will then have an add-on. Uh, I don't know if it's developed for Classic WoW yet. If it's not, I will pay the add-on developer to develop, for, to develop it for Classic WoW. It will combine all of the guild chats and that will allow the entire community to communicate with each other and be part of it. That's what's going to happen. What is this here? Uh, where's the rest of the next question about topic? Uh, I don't know about that. I want to deal with that right now. Uh, what if I sexually harass you for gold? It depends on how much money. Uh, I don't want to make a decision for that. What if someone has to leave during the raid? It depends. So uh, if you have to leave during the raid, one night, that's fine. Everybody understands that. But if every single time you have to leave, maybe right after you get to the boss that you have to kill for a certain item that you're hoping to get, whenever that item drops, you won't get it. We'll keep track of that. We'll keep plenty of track of that. We'll be watching everything like that. What's the best race for Rogue? I don't care. Um, let's see. Is the guild 420 friendly? If you talk about weed too much in guild chat, I'm going to G-kick you because it's annoying and cringy. I, I don't like having annoying and cringy. Same with people doing drugs or anything like that. I'm just gonna Nobody cares that you do drugs, yeah, okay? It, it's Nobody sad. Cares that you smoke weed. Is it Nobody 420? Gives a shit. Yeah, like, what do you mean? Is it 420 friendly? Nobody gives a fuck. Smoke your weed, enjoy it, log on, and if you're high for raid, hopefully that'll be a good thing. Half the classes, you won't even be able to tell the difference. Who's the guild endorsing in the election? Probably, um. Trump. It's between Trump and Andrew Yang. Probably Trump. Make Azeroth great again. Hell yeah. I like to smoke big doings. You're right. The best warlock race? I don't care. Play whatever race you want. Uh, any advice for new players? Why is engineering items you don't... Wait, this is your... Uh, allowed uh, when you wouldn't want it done to you. Simple. Because I don't care about people outside of the guild. As long as they're not... If they're random players on the server, fuck them. 
it doesn't matter. Our goal is always to make sure that our guild succeeds in priority. We don't want to do that at the expense of other people, but if that has to happen, that has to happen. That's all there is to it. I always put the priorities of my guild members and the people on my team first above everyone else, no matter what. But if you ninja from other people in the guild, or if you ninja from people that are part of alliances with us, that we are friends with, other guilds that were friendly with us, I will remove you from the guild immediately, because you can't be trusted. Do you accept weird boys right. that play girl characters? Yes, I do. Wrap it up, Domi. All right. Final questions. How triggered do you think Reddit's going to be? Uh, was saying what, what you're saying right now? Reddit being triggered? Are the same retards that talk about how they're going to follow me around and try to camp me and harass me the whole time in Classic? They're mad that I'm not going to, uh, you know, enforce their version of justice in the game? Yeah, I wonder how mad they're going to be. Who gives a fuck? Like, listen... I don't give a fuck if Reddit is mad. It doesn't matter. Do you know how I know it doesn't matter? Because it doesn't affect me at all. I don't care what they say. I do what's right. I've been a guild master and a guild leader and a raid leader for over 10 years. Ever since Vanilla WoW and really Burning Crusade. Not really as much Vanilla WoW, Burning Crusade. In Wrath of Lich King, I was raiding, uh, leading raids regularly. By Cataclysm, I was doing it daily. I know what it takes, I have the experience, and if you join my guild, I can almost ensure you success. All you have to do is earn it. What happens if you get the world first rag kill? We won't get the world first rag kill. Will your mom be in the guild? Probably not, but maybe she will be. Uh, what's the secret of getting into the guild whenever it's formed? Just message me and show up. That's it. What's the guild name? Everybody wants to know what the guild name is. I don't have a plan for the guild name, honestly. I've thought about naming it Swag Donalds. I've thought about naming it Eternal Champions. Uh, I could name it Indestructible again. I could name it Overdose of my original guild. I haven't decided. Uh, I could name it Make Azeroth Great Again. Uh, I could name it Asmon's uh, Invite to Asmon Lair. I have no idea. But I'll probably create a good name. Uh, Spicy Nuggets. Hey, you never know. We might straw pull it, and we'll decide then. Can Europeans join? Yes. But only... No. Oh, wait, really? No, don't say it. What? Don't do it, Tom. What do you mean? Just leave the Europeans alone, man. You're probably right. They're trying to be healthy. Yeah, you I know? know. Can I join? I'm Brazilian. If you're a good player and you're Brazilian, I'd love to have you. Contrary to what the stupid players on Ragnaros think, I'm actually not racist against Brazilians. If you're a good player with a great attitude, I don't care if you're playing from me, playing with me from the moon. If you have a fiber cable that connects you from the moon all the way down to Earth, that sounds fine to me. I don't give a fuck. I'll take anybody who's good. And anyone who has a problem with that, I'll kick them out of the raid. Oh, really? I have a problem with no, it. No, you don't. Can I bring my dog? Only if you're a hunter. Uh, let's see. Where's the rest of these? Um, joining you, hundred dollars. I'm not taking. I'm not doing invites for the guild for money. Uh, that is obviously not going to happen. Uh, let's make sure I got the rest of these. Uh, does the big titty goth girl get loot priority? It depends on how well they do in the guild. That's all there is to it. Everybody is going to be treated equally as much as possible. Uh, I, obviously, I have to, of course, uh, give some people priority based off of, uh, you know, who I can trust and everything at the very beginning. But after that, I think that the decisions will uh, will be much more clear. Uh, I can't fuck out of you. Good luck. Uh, what's the raid schedule again? To recap, the raid schedule is uh, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. At the very beginning of raids, we'll raid every day as much as possible. But besides that, we'll just raid on Tuesday afternoon. Probably like 2 or 3 p.m. whenever we start. Somewhere around there. Uh, what will be your character name? We'll see what happens. Uh, will you play Classic WoW? No, I don't think so. Uh, we'll be, yeah, it doesn't matter. All right, next one. What about people that are bad players but want to get better through, uh, through pupillage and uh, application? If you suck dick at the game 
and you want to be better at the game, join the guild. We will make fun of you and berate you until you have PTSD from ever making a mistake. And you will get better. That's what they did to me, and it worked. That's the way that it's going to work. Every single player, obviously, uh, will have to meet a certain baseline of, uh, of performance. But other than that, it's not going to matter. Uh, it did work. I have, a, I have a list of achievements here to show that it worked. Look at this. Look at this. The literal god. Keep that in mind. It's before I streamed, before I did anything. What happened to no toxicity? Depends on what the toxicity is for. If you fuck up in a raid, and it happens constantly, we'll deal with it. But yeah, you're right. Anybody who's shit-talking other raiders during the raid will probably be removed. Why is that? Because that's my job. And I get to do it, not you. If you want to shit-talk people regularly in the guild, you can submit an officer application to me, and I might promote you. But if that's the reason you want to get promoted, you're going to probably stay as recruit. Will you do weekend raids for other guilds? Yes. For alts. Alts will not be given the same priority on loot as main characters. It's just not fair. I would like to have one. every person in the guild have one strong main character. The reason for that is whenever new content comes out, I would like to bring as many of those strong characters into the new raid to perform and do as well as we possibly can. I want our best players to be the best players on the server. Alts will obviously be part of guild raids, and we'll be doing alt raids on the weekends. But other than that, we're not going to spend too much time bringing people in alt gear. Did you see the drop changes in the AMA? Yes, I did. Oh, will you create the Devil Star Mafia to get the Devil Star Leathers? No, I won't. I don't care about that. It doesn't even matter. Uh, the truth is, we'll just get that stuff as it as it comes, and if we have to pay more money for it, then we pay more money for it. It's not a big deal. Uh, is there an expected time to get max level in the guild? No, it's there's no expected time. Uh, if you want to be part of the first raid team, get 60 as fast as you can. If you get 60 uh, after I do, then there's obviously, of course, a chance that you won't be able to get into the raid, because uh, I'll have already made it for that week. And the next week, I'll probably bring the same people from the last week. Does the guild like to wipe a lot? No. No. Do you force every class to play this spec? No. Uh, if you're playing a spec that makes the raid have to compensate for your mistakes, then obviously we're not going to have you. And if you're playing a rep paladin, and there's a fury warrior in the raid, the fury warrior is going to get the gear before you do. Because they're contributing more to the raid. That's all there is to it. It just makes sense. Not every single time, by the way. Not every single time, but usually. Reset schedule has been posted on Wowhead. I'll look at that in just a moment. Uh, can I join your guild? Let's see. What spec is best for Rogue? I don't know. Will you accept a 49-year-old boomer with experience of vanilla and TBC rating? Yes, as long as your reaction times are good. I'm from Saudi Arabia. My English is okay. Can I join? Absolutely. I'd love to have you. I don't care. I've played with people from Saudi Arabia before. They've been great players. Plenty of people. Are guild orgies allowed? No. I used to have a rule back in my guild whenever I was recruiting where I would never take any package deals at all for any reason. This will be the same for this as well. If you apply with your girlfriend or something like that, unless I personally know you, you will not be accepted. You will be declined based purely off of that. Purely off of that. There will be no... Yeah, I, I don't take any package deals. They're always a risk. Uh, what if I tell you I'm main tanking? No one wants to say anything because uh, they don't want to get kicked. What if you fail? Oh, what if I fail at main tanking? That's why we have other tanks. I can't imagine myself failing at hitting one button. But if I do fail at doing that, I should probably just delete my character and try over. Who's getting at Uh 
I'll deal with that whenever it happens. The odds are there will be a mage or a rogue, or sorry, not rogue, a mage or a druid or a warlock or a priest that stands out above the rest that will that we will choose to give uh, Atiesh to. Uh, I don't know who that's going to be, honestly. I I really don't know. Uh, Feral druid would be dope. No, I'm not, I'm not sure about that. Uh, how many uh, bathroom breaks? How many bathroom breaks do you get per raid? As I said, I expect people to be uh, there at raid 90% of the time. So you're not AFK for more than 10% of the raid. Uh, anything more than that, it's too much. Class preferences that you know you want to prioritize? No, not yet. Uh, smoke breaks? No, no smoke breaks. Only bathroom breaks. No, you're not going to get a smoke break. I'm not going to reward you for being addicted to fucking nicotine. It's disgusting. All right, let's see if I got any more of these. Will you be? Will you? Uh, will you be like the PayPal Mafia of Classic WoW? I don't know what that is, so it's hard for me to say. Number one tip for a new player in WoW: Enjoy the game. I know it's hard, but try to. I'm from the UK. Can I join the guild? I've been no life on EU servers with my family and friends and playing casual in NA. Also, I'm going to play as a min-max balanced druid. That sounds like a bit of an oxymoron, Pharaoh, but thanks for $2. If you want to show up, that's fine. We'll be immediately, as soon as people start getting level 60 and we start having an overflow after the first raid, then we'll start creating a second raid of people. People will start creating alts and building up the community even more so. We'll then start helping those people that just hit level 60 get all of their attunements ready so they can get into the Molten Core and Anixia's Lair. All of that stuff will be done daily, repetitively, and for all of the people in the guild. So that's it. Ten minutes breaks in two hours? That's right. Any more questions? I'm Georgia. I'm bad English. Can I join? That's too much. No. Uh, if, if you're illiterate, you can't join. Uh, if you're illiterate in English, I mean. Uh, like, I don't really care a whole lot about uh, where you live, but if you're illiterate, I don't care if you live in Alabama and you're fucking illiterate. I'm going to kick you out of the raid. I'm not going to play with morons. If English is your second language and you don't understand what the uh, what the commands are and what you're supposed to do, for whatever reason, you can't communicate with people, people can't communicate with you, we'll kick you out. We need people that we can communicate with. Let's see, where's the rest of this? Uh, where's the rest of this? Uh, I'm going to read all the rest of this. Uh, what time for raids? Do I need to speak in Discord? Every single player will be required to speak if needed on Discord. That doesn't mean that you have to speak all the time, but it does mean that if we need you to talk or say something in Discord, you must have a working mic. If you don't have a mic, then you don't have a raid spot. I'm not going to play with mimes. Every single person must have a mic. Uh, I, I don't need you to talk regularly or anything like that, but if the time comes that you need to actually say something, then obviously we're going to we're gonna go ahead and, uh, and, and expect that to happen, okay? Is wearing the guild tabard mandatory? Good question. It's not mandatory, but it's strongly encouraged. Every single member of the guild should be wearing the guild tabard at all times. But sometimes, obviously, if you're, uh, you know, you just got the Arathi Basin or the Warsong Gulch tabard, you want to show that off a little bit. That's okay too. But yes, the guild tabard will be uh, will be given to people, and we will be trading out guild tabards and giving them to every single member in the guild once they reach a certain amount of time in the guild. We will pay for a guild tabard and give it to you. Uh, you're not invited? You don't want a guild tabard? You're right. Uh, you need a personal slave? Uh, we need a lot of slaves. So if you want to come and be part of the guild, and you don't have time to raid, but you still want to hang out with us, I have no problem with that. We like resto druids. Can you go over at mission requirements again? Yes. Get 60 very quickly, and then show up to the raid. If you are a bad player, I will notice it and I will remove you and get somebody who's better. Can I help farming silithid carap carapace fragments? Yes, please. We will be doing that, of course. You racist because I'm in Georgia, noob? Yes, I am a huge racist. Holy paladins, of course we need holy paladins. Can I be the janitor? Yes. Will you purge lobies? That's a good question. So let's say you're part of the guild and you're not leveling very quickly. If you're logging on regularly, you will stay in the guild. But if you go AFK and you become inactive in the guild, let's say you don't log on for maybe uh, 
you know, a few weeks or so, maybe one week, especially at the beginning, uh, maybe three weeks, we will do a purge and we will remove you. Uh, gonna be on. All right, just a second. Uh, Gilgadi. Uh, all right, one second. Uh, dude, gonna be honest, just got laid off. So I decided it's best to just collect unemployment for a few weeks because I'm gonna be a scare board. Is it even worth me applying? Well, you're unemployed and you're collecting welfare. You are what I would like to call an ideal applicant. Of course I want you in. Of course. You are an ideal applicant. Scarab board, I do want to talk about that slightly. I will be obviously getting the first Scarab board. McConnell will probably be getting the second. After that, we will probably be coordinating and helping Esfond get his as well, and that will probably be simultaneous with mine since he's running a different raid. And then after that, we will basically be giving Scarab board to the people who I feel like deserve it the most. Uh, the way I will handle the Broodlord Lash Layer heads and then also the Draconic for Dummies was be to be determined. And it will happen. Uh, I, I will decide that once we actually get up to that point. How do I apply? You show up. There is no... The application process is purely competitive. That's the way it goes. Okay, just one second here. This, this guy's a retard. I'm going to ban him. Get out of my fucking stream. Okay. Uh, it would be cool if you're still raiding on live. I'm not raiding on live. I haven't raided on live servers in years. Uh, it, it, I've stopped raiding back in, uh, uh, what was it? Not Mr. Pandora. I stopped raiding in Tomb of Sargeras. Uh, Stringer Privilege for Scarab Ward. Guildmaster Main Tank Privilege for Scarab Ward. Not Streamer. Will there be someone, uh, help me become a Beast Warlock? Yes. I, I will have class leads. Uh, in terms of the raid, I will have one class lead. And in terms of the entire guild, I will have multiple class leads and people that are assigned to be able to answer questions and concerns from other people of the same class that can help them along their journey of becoming a champion. So every single person, obviously, in the guild will have someone that they know that they can talk to uh, for advice on how to get better at their character. And uh, that, will be to, that will be to be determined as you know those people make themselves known. I'm not sure what that's going to be yet. Scarab Ward obviously will be uh, quite a challenge for uh, almost everybody. But uh, the truth is, it's going to be a guild accomplishment. And that's really what matters. When will you want to ring the bell? We will prolong ringing the Scarab Ward bell. We will prolong... Uh, what's, what's this question here? Uh, can you pay out a percentage of your Twitch Prime earnings to your guild members since we are helping you with content, just like CEOs do with their employees? Yes, I'll do it exactly just like CEOs do it with their employees. You're getting nothing and I'm getting everything. Uh, should I apply if I'm a high schooler? If you're not annoying, yes. Tom Kerr donated $100. Wow. Thank you, man. Thank you very much. Uh, how do I get into the guild? It's very simple. You just make a character. Will you be using Mintrol? No, we will be using Discord. Uh, who will be getting so first? We're still trying to decide that. I don't know yet. Uh, I don't want to give it to myself because I have no use for the weapon. Uh, Bone Reaver's Edge is better. Sulfurus is cool for like cosmetics, and maybe once BWL comes out, I'll go back and I'll reserve it for myself. But before then, I don't really give a shit. Will there be room for mistakes? Yes, there will be room for mistakes. There will not be room for for repeated mistakes. EST or PST? Central Time. Right now, it's 5 p.m. Base it off of that. Uh, PoE League announced. We'll watch that in just a little bit. Okay. Uh, tra talk Tyson talking trash in the last video. Yeah, I, I heard about that. Uh, will second chances be given to shit raiders? You'll be having as many chances as people are willing to give you. If you make a mistake and you ruin a poll, I understand. Everybody fucks up. If you do it twice, though, we're probably gonna have to sit you. I'm not. I I'm not going to be a super like draconian leader. I I if you. If you make an honest mistake and you just fuck up, it depends on why you fuck up. If you fuck up because you weren't listening, then I will probably replace you in the first poll because you're not even trying. But if you make an honest mistake that you just you just did something wrong, you did something wrong because you weren't paying attention, you make an honest mistake, I understand that. And everybody has to understand that. There's no problem with that. Can I raid as a spelladin? Yeah, as long as you spell the word holy.
Next. Is a couple applying as individual applicants an issue for you? Yes. I will take no couples at all into the raid. Unless I know them personally. No couples at all. Period. Zero. Also, if I see there are... Um, if there are people that are starting to create... Uh, let me think of a way to put this. Like, kind of like cults of personality around themselves by, like, attracting beta males and stuff like that. I consider that a problem. And let me say something. I solve problems. Anybody that causes drama or I think will cause drama, I will remove. Any orbiters that are trying to orbit around some, some person in the guild, for whatever reason, kick you out. Yeah, so stay off me. Yeah, I mean, if you're orbiting around McConnell and you're really annoying to him and he doesn't want you in the guild, well, he's going to have an officer and he can just kick you right the fuck out. We're in the behave. I'm doing this as a... I want you to understand something. I'm doing this as a favor. MMOs are one of the few different bastions of the actual, true, gen uh, genuine social interaction. Where people can say what they want, where people can act the way they want, without being tied down by the fetters and the different fucking expectations of society. You can be yourself. You can say what you want, and you can learn and grow as a person. And I am not going to fucking let that happen. I'm going to tell you exactly how it is, and I'm going to allow that to happen. I, I became, I became uh, who I am because people, I was an obnoxious little kid, and I came into the raid. And I got treated like an obnoxious little kid. And I stopped acting that way. I used to scream on the mic constantly. Until they screamed back at me and they said if I ever did it again, I'd get kicked out of the raid. I shut the fuck up after that. I owe that same favor to the players today. It's my turn to do that to them. And they will appreciate it the same as I did. Small gift from Italy. A small gift from Italy. Um, uh, buy good mozzarella with it. I sure will. Thank you very much. Uh, if I have the biggest D, do I get the most loot? It depends. Uh, if your D, uh, crazy to see you as a one K Andy. Now you're so big boy. Thirty K plus Andy. Good job, buddy. Thanks a lot, man. I really fucking appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you, dude. Didact. I've seen you in here a million fucking times. We be accepting holy paladins as raiders. Yes, I will. Of course, I will. Uh, I'm from EU, a freelance graphic designer. I play on U.S. servers. Uh, with my job, uh, I work at home. In fact, the chance my uh, my chance of staying in the guild. I don't care what you do as a job. I don't care if you work for. Uh, I don't care. If, I don't care if you work for Walmart or if you, uh, you know, are retired. I, I don't give a shit. Just show up. Just show just up. Show up. Yeah. Just work. literally show up and play the game. Just, just like, say that's that. It. Just show up. Do the raids. Do what you have to do. Yes. And shut the fuck up, and you will get loot. You will That's kill it. bosses. You will accomplish your goals. Just show up and shut up. That's all there is to it. it, it this is not a hard, weird concept. Just show up to the raid, do your job, don't cause trouble, and that's all you need to worry about. That's it. Are, are flat earthers allowed in the guild? If I find out you're a flat earther, probably not. Because you're fucking dumb. Ooh. No. Why do I why do I not want flat earthers in the guild? Simple. There's obviously some part of your brain that makes logical uh, you know, decisions that is not formed. I don't want to deal with that. Also, you're a conspiracy person probably, and if you're a conspiracy person, you're probably gonna start a bunch of drama whenever you don't get what you want. I don't want to deal with that either. That's true. Will Mad Season be in the guild? Uh, it's up to him. If Mad Season wants to be in the guild, he'll have a spot. Frontal cortex? No, I'm talking about the whole brain. It's, the whole thing's gone. Not just the frontal cortex. Like the, the, the left part, the right part, the back part, the top part, the bottom part, the whole thing. The whole thing's gone. Never played WoW before? Uh, listen. This is the last time I'm going to answer that question because I'm wrapping this up. And uh, yeah, then we're going to go do something else. Um, here's what's going to happen. If you're a new player and you want to be part of the guild, you might not be part of the first guild. You might be part of the second or the third or the fourth guild. And you can work your way up and you can earn your spot there oh. and continue raiding and playing with us then. Go ahead. Like a tier system. Yes. 
Oh my god. Yes, that's exactly right. How are you going to uh, detect people who came to spy? Spy on what? Like, we're streaming the whole thing. Like, we're streaming, like, fucking eight hours a day. No, like, wh what are they going to spy on? Like, come on. Uh, Ponzi scheme? Yeah, basically like a Ponzi scheme. Preferred healer? Good ones. Uh, that's about it. My two-year sub-anniversary is tomorrow. Bomber's Bowl, I know you. Uh, just in case you don't stream tomorrow, I want to say thanks. Uh, I want to say watching your stream has been some of the most fun I've had. It's been a great two-plus years. Here's to another two and more. Bomber, thank you very much for the $10. I fucking appreciate that, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you, dude. Hero Hunter, stay awesome. Love you. Thank you, man. I I'll do my best. Uh, is Decursive going to work again? I don't know. Do you need PvP wards in your guild? Listen, do I need fill-in-the-blank in my guild? The answer to that is always yes. I want to have all of the best players possible. If you are a serious PvPer, I want to have you with me. If you are a serious PvEer, I want to have you with me. If you want to play, if you want to play the auction house, I want to have you with me. I want to have every single person possible except furries. No furries or flat earthers. All right, those are the two groups of people that we do not want to have and we do not want to deal with. Okay, everything else besides that is going to be completely fine. Just so you guys fully understand what the expectations are. All right, let's see. Anonymous gift. Thank you, uh, Viperian. Uh, thank you very much for the five minutes subs. I appreciate that, man. Uh, what if you had to reach all 60? Let me do a scythe run right now. I want to go ahead and get this started. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. What? I'm doing a island real quick, real quick. Okay, well, I'll get 19 people. Okay, just a second. Uh, requirement 420. Okay, let's go. Uh, what if I hate McCuck? Well, if you don't like one of the main people in a leadership position inside of the guild, maybe you should find a guild that you're not going to join willingly that you're going to have problems with the people that are in charge of it. So, uh, if you don't like McConnell, that's fine. Just shut the fuck up about it and play with them anyway. I don't care if you don't like people in the guild. Nobody cares. The only problem is if you make this a big issue and now, you know, like, you not liking this person is now a... It's now a conversation point. We don't need to have conversation points about this at all. What's your stance on weaves in the guild? Uh, okay, just... I have to take off my shirt for this one. Just give me a minute. Uh, as you guys can see, look at this. This is your guild master right here. Right here. We're going to kill Ragnarok, so I'll tell you that right now. It's going to happen. The hell is it? What? What? What does that have to do with weaves? Well, just a minute. Just a minute. I, I gotta take I gotta take this off. It's hot. Okay. So with weaves, let's talk about weaves. Um, if you are a weeb and you cause a bunch of problems and you're annoying and you want to, uh, you want to promote your weeb agenda into the stream and, uh, into the guild, uh, are probably going to get rid of you if you annoy people, right? And so generally, like, the way that I'm looking at this is that if you are annoying, I will remove you from the guild. Period. Like, I, I don't want to have a weeb agenda. Well, yeah, I mean, whenever they start talking about anime and it's just like all this other weird shit. Like, nobody wants to put up with that at all. So, I, I don't want to see any anime conversations. I, I don't want to see anything... I, I don't want to see anything like that happen, okay? Uh, go ahead, uh, Sword Art Online. I actually did watch... I've been watching Sword Art Online uh, with, uh, with my girlfriend. It's actually a really funny show. It's basically a high-level male player who spends most of the beginning of at least the first season running lower-level female players through dungeons. Like, it, it's... It's pretty fucking funny. I mean, it, it, it's... Uh, the the stereotype is right there. I'm not even kidding. Like, there's some there's some girl... Oh, my, my pet died! He's like, oh, it's okay. I'll run you through the dungeon. And then people try to attack her, and he's like, it's okay. I'll save you. It... it I, I, I don't even know what the fuck to say. But yeah, my, my girlfriend suggested the show. I, I, I've enjoyed it so far. Uh, but yeah, there it is. Uh, the funny part is in WoW. Yeah, it's the same fucking thing, dude. Uh, what about, we have different alts uh, as GMs in the different guilds? Um, I don't know. I mean, like, so the thing is, like, I would like to have, if you want to be one of the officers, can you unban me in chat? I did nothing wrong. Let me see. Yeah, right. Let's find out about that. 